Good day, everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum, and today we'll be looking at the clavicle. We'll be looking at the clavicle. So this bone here is the clavicle, and this is the clavicle. So the reason why I brought all this model is for you to see the anatomical position of the clavicle. So this is the clavicle here. Which can also be called the collarbone. So the clavicle is defined as a sigmoid shaped or S shaped long bone that lies superiorly between the thorax and the upper limb. It is a sigmoid or S shaped long bone that lies superiorly between the thorax upper limb. So, you can see that the clavicle, like I told us, can also be called the collar bone. And it is a flat bone. The type of bone it is, is a flat bone. Also, the clavicle, like I told us, helps to connect the thorax to the upper limb. That is the first thing the clavicle does. And also, the clavicle helps to protect the underlying nerves and blood vessels, that is, neurovascular structures that pass under it, it helps to protect it from external force. Then, having seen the functions of the clavicle, let's go over to the joints that can be formed in the clavicle, or the joints that the clavicle form. Now, if you look at towards the media part, you see that the clavicle joins with the manibum of the sternum. To form the sternoclavicular joint. Then, laterally, it joins with the acromion of the scapula to form the clavicular acromial joint. So, these are the two joints that can be formed in the clavicle. So, having seen this, let's go over to specific structures of specific tissues that can be seen in the clavicle. So, this is the clavicle. Like I told us, we'll be looking at important fissures in the clavicle. So the clavicle is divided into three parts. This part is the media end. This part is the lateral end. And this is the body or the shaft of the clavicle. The media end, the lateral end, the body or the shaft of the clavicle. Now on the shaft of the clavicle, you can see this is the superior surface. And if you turn it back, you see the inferior surface. So coming to the medial end, the medial end is also called the sternal end. It can also be called the sternal end because this is the part that articulates with the sternal bone, and that is why it is called the sternal end. And at this surface here, this is known as the sternal facet. It is called the sternal facet because it is this surface that articulates with the manibium of the sternum. So this is the articulating surface and it is called the sternal facet. So the media to third of the clavicle is rounded, as you can see. It is rounded and the medial part of the clavicle is convex. You can see the convexity. It is convex and it is rounded. Then, having seen the media end, let's look at the lateral end. The lateral end is flat. It is flat. That is, the lateral one third of the clavicle is flat. And the lateral end can also be called the acromial end. Because this is the part that articulates with the acromial of the scapula. Then, this surface here is known as the acromial facet because it is the surface or the articulating surface between the clavicle and the scapula. So, this is known as the acromial facet. Then, having seen this, Let's go over to the body of the clavicle. If you turn the clavicle inferiorly 
towards the lateral end, you see this protrusion here. There is this big protrusion here. This is known as the colloid tubercle. This colloid tubercle gave attachment to the colloid ligament. Then, from the colloid tubercle down to the edge here, there is a line from the colloid tubercle. It extends from the colloid tubercle down to the edge here. This is known as the trapezoid line. It gives attachment to the trapezoid ligament. So this is it. Then, if you come inferiorly at the body, you see a kind of a groove here. A depression here that runs like a groove. This is known as the subclavian groove. This gave attachment to the subclavius muscle. So this is it. So having seen that, in a recap, I told us that this is the media end, which is canvas and the, it is rounded. Then it can also be called the sternal end, lateral or acromial end. It is concave and it is flat. The body or shaft, the colloid tobacco, the trapezoid line, the groove for the subclavian muscle. So we've come to the end of this teaching. I will encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on so all social media platforms, Facebook, TikTok, learn with Chisholm Great. Like this video, share this video to your friends, and comment on this video. Thank you very much.